another video. Hey, I'm back with another video. Hey, I'm back with another video. And today I'm going to show you guys how I slay my edges. They are not slayed at the moment, sis, but... By the end of this video, they will be. So, if you want to see how I slay my edges, then just keep on watching. So, I actually wasn't going to record this video. However, it was requested by someone I know. And I love when people request videos from me. Like, it's just so flattering, you know? Like, oh, you want to see how I do that? Um, three things that I use faithfully to slay my edges is a silk or satin scarf. Whichever one. I don't know which one this is, but yeah. It's a ghost. Okay, so get you a scarf to set your edges. Set your edges. Yes, sis, set your edges. Um, I use a brush. I use this hard ass one that I got from Rite Aid, but I don't suggest it because it's it's a little too hard and it's actually really big. So I suggest getting an actual edge brush or like a toothbrush. I lost mine unfortunately, so can't use that one, but yeah. And I currently use Eco Styler Gel. Um, yeah. I love it. It holds my edges all day, every day. It smells good. It's not flaky. And, yeah. However, I didn't always use Eco Styler Gel. I used to use this Control Edge Glaze by Eden Body Works. And, guys, this stuff smells so good. <sighs> Oh my god, and it's almost gone. You can tell that I really liked it. Um, yeah, <laughs> I really liked it. It was only four dollars from Rite Aid or Walmart or Walgreens, wherever I got it from. It also it's also sold at CVS, like it's sold everywhere. It was only four dollars, and it's really good. It smells really good. It's clear, and it stays clear on your hair. And yeah, my best friend recommended it to me, and I've been in love with it ever since. However, it's like it stopped working on my hair I don't know like have you ever gotten really accustomed to using a product and then it stopped working on you like it wasn't as effective anymore that's what happened to me these are all of my edges they are wild and crazy right now because I did my makeup in the previous video and you know when you put your contour and it just messed everything up yeah that's what happened so I get a little bit of the product on my hand and I just put it on my edges. Y'all are going to see that it mixes with my foundation. I really hate that that it does that but I usually do my hair before my makeup so I don't have to worry about this. So yeah, so um, I put it on my hair and then I put a little bit on where my closure is where it meets my leave out not leave out my edges so yeah then I take my brush and I just basically like style and swoop the hair how I want it to lay um I probably do it like differently every day honestly truly no biggie ew look at it <laughs> it's gonna dry and when it dries you're not gonna notice so it's okay but yeah, I just lay it how I want it to lay. Then I do the same thing on the other side. This video is literally going to be like two minutes because I literally don't do a lot. My hair curls up a lot. That's the only thing that blows me. But this helps with laying them down. So once I have them laid how I want them to, I get my scarf and I set my edges. I set my edges and usually, like I said, I do it for, before I do my makeup. So while these are setting, I'm like putting on my face or I'm beating my eyebrows or something like that. Okay, so once I take off my scarf, this is what they look like. Oh God, um, I don't even know if you guys can see or not. I hope you can. Let me try to zoom in a little bit. That's what they look like. Or whatever. Hmm. Ain't nothing too big, okay? Okay. I hope you wasn't expecting no extra shit because I really don't do all that much to my edges. So, yeah. But, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>